Several minutes later, sometime during a years-long speech, my brain started working again. <laughs> we all headed up the emergency stairs to the second floor. All of us. I thought I abandoned them to their stories. Never mind. Should we all go and see Sugumi? Maybe there's less chance of her bitching us out if we do that. I think I might have touched her a little bit. Even if uh, she did say, Oh, I'm a hypocrite. I think I touched her a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to know how she's doing. Mm-hmm. Me as well. Let's go all check let's go all go check up on her. Goku's proposal came out of the blue, but everyone agreed and headed upstairs. Okay. What? Takeshi, didn't you already see Sugumi when you woke up last she woke up last night? How do you know that? I didn't tell you that. Fucking you just assumed. Well yeah. Watch you don't just admit it! The whole point was to not admit it earlier in the multiple choice section. Being asked forced me to remember the night before. Sugumi saying I wanna die. But then she'd eaten those sandwiches. And she would just recover. Wait up you. You know that I'd seen Sugumi! <laughs> I heard from Sora this morning about Tsugumi's condition and your panic running. So you were just fucking with me, asking me what I'd done when you knew a full well the whole time what I'd done. That midnight emergency staircase dash that Shonen was talking about, it was Tsugumi, right? Maybe. So? Alright, you listen here. A minute ago, you were pretending to be a reporter trying to get me to tell you. Why do you ask me something you already know? Is that a Haru Kane thing? Did Aki Kane ever laugh like that? I like that laugh. It's your fault for trying to be so mysterious. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas? Question mark. You little... That's cute. I like that. I had to admit it, but she had taken me for a ride. Take you for a ride. You know, she played me like a fiddle. I, and I think I enjoyed the playing. I think I still would have liked her, even if I played Takeshi's route first. She's a bit sassy, or she's a bit more of a bitch to, to, to Takeshi, but playful bitch. I think I still would have grown to like her, even if I played this route first. Anyways, I had no comeback. So, uh, how do you think Sugumi's doing? Aren't you worried about her? He's trying to change the subject. Yes, I am indeed. <laughs> Shut up. If you know something, say it already. Well, Lee Mich is always guarding the infirmary's medical computer data, and you would know because you know about the other data as well. Since the mech hasn't come to us with any news, it must mean that Tsugumi is sleeping peacefully, right? Possibly. Well, that's a relief, I suppose. Unless Sora's been hacked by the ghost of Mayo. Ghost of Mayo's past. We reached the infirmary. Should have brought flowers. I really don't think she'd be into flowers. Well, maybe, but I wouldn't risk it. She's probably just think, how dare you give me flowers? Those flowers only exist by eating the life away of fucking bullshit, so fuck those flowers. Where do you think you'll find flowers? That's also a good point. Oh, well, actually, Sora was watering some earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Well, actually, there is a way we could have brought flowers if we really wanted to. Entering first, I mustered a cheerful voice. Really? How cheerful can it really be, though? Hey, Sigumi, stop being a bitch. Get up. You alive? I had to force them, but I dragged everyone along to see you. Ah! <laughs> wow, that was probably you hitting me. Ow! This is because you don't be mean like that. I'm not being mean. Not, not, not any meaner than you've been, right? I mean, what did I say? Okay, well, I guess I asked if you're alive, but... I mean, that's a legit question, right? We want her to answer. I guess me saying, are you alive, is probably the mean part, but... You don't have to be so violent, you! Gosh! You don't have to push and poke me. Exchanging stupid banter, we approach the bed. I did it on purpose as a joke. 
Don't you understand jokes too? Don't take everything so seriously. Isn't that what you always say? You? Well, here's a fucking backfire. Hypocrite. Everybody's a hypocrite though, so there you go. You know, joke around, cheer up a little bit. By asking if she's alive, what if she's fucking dead? Really? I don't know. Nah. Of course, we already went over the fact that you're a hypocrite in her other pathway. Um, it's been a while, so I don't remember the details, but I do definitely remember being like, Oh yeah, she's a hypocrite, but meh. Uh, uh, hey! Hey, what? Oh, that's right, she's a hypocrite because she believes beyond everything that her father's somehow alive, even though everything's pointing to her father not being alive, when she refused to believe in all these other things that other people believe in. Let them have their beliefs, but you don't let... I mean, you don't let them have their beliefs, and yet you want people to let you have your beliefs, so that's why she's kind of hypocritical like that. But anyways, hey! Shonen stopped suddenly. Is she not in her bed? He was pointing to the bed in the back. She's not there. What's the matter, kid? You discover a new uh, species or something? A new species of lacking Sugumi. Ellipses. Sugumi ga. Sugumis. By the way, what kind of joke is that? You discover a new species? I mean, I guess that could be funny, but I mean, what would you think? Are you trying to make a fun of Sugumi? Like, oh, she looks ugly now, but nah. Sugumi ga. Inai. Sugumi's gone. Oh, shit. Maybe she jumped to another timeline, just like my own. She's about to be erased from our minds. I don't think so, though. Eh? What? I guess I have to go find her, right? <laughs> wahoo? No, not Wahoo. This is not a good thing, Coco. What? I ran to the bed in shock. Everyone followed right behind me. She. She's gone. She's really not here. The bed was completely empty. The covers were just the way they had been. The pillows were the same, but the IV tube and the heart monitor had been torn and scattered around. What the? Why didn't Lumech pick up on this? Lumech was monitoring Sugumi's data, right? Right, you? What happened? I don't know. I have no idea. She averted her eyes from mine. Hey? Hey? Look at that! Look at what? She pointed to the corner of the room. Don't tell me she wants to kill herself for reals now. Fingers were trembling a little. Huh? The cord was torn off the middle computer. The monitor had been smashed to pieces. What? It had been electrical short. There was a burning stench around the area. Oh, she didn't want us to follow her. Did she really plan to kill herself? Oh, I can't let that happen. Who could have done this? Probably her herself. Or evil little Coco. That's also possible, but probably her. That's what I'd like to know. Um... What's that? What's what? This time Coco had found something. Under the computer console there was some uh, bandages and a long skinny case of some sort. Skinny case? What case? A white hard case. Case? Case closed. Is this... is this what? You cold, Coco? That reminds me a lot of the cold poses that the characters made in 999. Good times. Uh, Tsugumi's brace, right? Brace? I don't remember her brace. I don't remember that at all, but okay. You're right, it's Tsugumi's. Well, if you say so. Which means... means... Tsugumi! What about her? She got her own breast and smashed up the computer. Well, duh. Wouldn't that be your first thought? She got out of bed, smashed the computer, and then left the room. Well, duh. Thoughts leaped right out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. It's hard to believe. Really? Indeed. But when I brought her the sandwiches, she looked like she was still in pain in bed. Indeed she did. Maybe she was faking, or maybe she is in pain but doesn't care because she's planning to kill herself? Or she has to feed the cat or something? Question mark? She couldn't stay in bed any longer? Possibly? I don't know. Really think that Sugumi? Well, what else could it be? Maybe someone ran off with her? Who? Sora? That's the only other option. Someone like who? Who's here besides us? Or evil shonen? It's crazy either way! You were shouting. How could Sugumi even walk on that leg? Good point. Maybe she has super fast healing because of... <laughs> because of morphogenic bullshit? Possibly! It was a serious injury! It should take over two months to heal! 
In fact, in her condition, she shouldn't even be able to get out of bed! Yeah, actually, now that is curious. I wasn't even thinking of that, but you're right. I didn't realize she was that bad off. Yeah, how did she do that? Willpower? We did say she was healing fast, but it shouldn't be that fast. Yeah. It's strange that Lumech didn't respond even if the computer is broken, unless there's a standoff like Sagumi vs. Sora or something. That could be shit getting shittier. Even if someone had taken her out of here. The sensors on the ceiling should have picked it up! Saying that, you raised her eyes to the ceiling. What in the world? Indeed. Wait, then, then. What happened to Sugumi? It's time we better start, uh, stop talking and start looking. Split up and look for clues, gang. Just, I don't know if splitting up's the best idea right now. Someone could get murdered. I don't know. Just split up. We better split up. There's been no proof of a murderer so far. Uh, Coco barely opened her mouth. Also, I just thought I'd point this out because it's slightly distracting. Uh, use, uh, right, uh, no, her right pant leg is over here, her left one's over here, her, her left sock or whatever, if that's a sock, is slightly above her right sock, and yet her left sock is, her, her left side of her dress is a bit closer to her left sock, and then her right side of her dress is a bit higher than her left, right side of her, but her right side of her sock is lower, so there's like a small gap here and a big gap here, and it's slightly unnerving, but anyways, we're, open her mouth! Kamikakushi. Maybe she was spirited away? Yeah, you still even that believe in that stuff. Masaka. Oh, please. No, let people have their beliefs, right? Let's just look for her, if, assuming she isn't spirited away. Tsugumi disappeared? We were all in shock. Everyone kept talking, though. If there's some special place I'm supposed to know about for Tsugumi, though, I am not sure about one. For you, I thought of a special place when we got to a moment where I had to find you. Uh, no, that was the moment where Mayo told me that she was waiting in the special place, but they didn't let me look for it. In this case, though, I wouldn't know where to look. At least for Sagumi, anyways. Kamikakushi? Spirited away? I don't believe that! I don't believe! Ugh. All the color drained from Yu's face as she had absorbed the enormity of what had happened. It's not that enormous. She was holding her chest, looking up at the ceiling in a cold sweat. And let's fucking look for her! <laughs> Stop freaking out and start looking for her. Calm down, you. Don't freak out on me. Take deep breaths. Yeah, ugh. Uh. 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 <sighs> Come on, you. Stay with me. She breathed in and out slowly. That's good. That's a start. A little color came back to her face. A little color. But the question was what to do about the situation. What to do? I know, we'll ask Sora. Is she even going to be working right now? Probably not. Where is Sora? She ought to know what happened, right? Maybe she's in the middle of an update that's taken forever. You look to me with a glimmer of hope. Mm, it's about to be dashed. You're right, let's call her. We rushed over to Lumich Terminal in the corner of the room. Standing in front of the console, you began operating the panel. If Lumich hasn't re realized it yet, that may, that may mean that Sora doesn't know yet either. Mm, that's a stretch. But call her anyway. It's faster to ask her than to go on a blind search. I guess we'll do that first, then go on a blind search. Because we're going to have to search. You just know we are. You're right. Before long, there was a change in the terminal. Sora's image floated up in the monitor. Are you actually active? Yes? Do you know about what's happening with Sugumi? Sora, something terrible has happened. Sugumi's missing. What? Are you sure? I thought something had happened to the monitor in the room, but you didn't come to check? Really? Are you stupid? Exactly. Why didn't you tell us? I was busy dealing with your hack earlier on the console. Mm -hmm, possibly. You getting told, maybe? Mm, no, I don't think so. I'm terribly sorry. There had been terrible jamming and it delayed me. But what was causing the jamming? Jamming? What's that? Electromagnetic interference? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, good thing in the sense that maybe it means 
others came to help are close by. How's the room? Is everyone there? Everybody is here and accounted for, pretty much, except Tsugumi. Yeah, other than Tsugumi, we're all here. Actually, my eyes aren't working. Well, that's bad. Only your ears? So I wasted time trying to confirm. And to be fair, all Sora would have to do is take out her, um, uh, earpieces, and it would make, uh, all Tsugumi would have to do is take out her earpieces, and it would be hard for Sora to track her down, I think. At least harder, at the very least. I wasted time trying to confirm. Don't worry, Sora, we're alright. Confirm what? That everything was alright? I don't know. You come right over? Yes, of course, right away. I just had a thought. What if that speech about how, you know, we wish they were a real person, they turned into a real person, has to do with Sora? Like, if that's how we can maybe go down a Sora route? If Sora becomes a real girl? Still sounds weird, but, I mean, whatever. Right away. Sora disappeared from the monitor. And instantly, she was standing in front of us. Oh, shit! So wait, your eye bits aren't working, and yet you can still materialize yourself like this? Am I standing in the right place? Can you see me alright? Oh, that's cute. And a bit sad. Zora looked worried. You're fine. You really can't see? It is getting better, but there's still something wrong. Look, well, shit. I can tell approximately where you are standing, but not which way you are facing. I see, I think. <laughs> At least I see better than you. But not necessarily better than you. She was talking to a spot just next to me. <laughs> yeah. Sora, so Tsugumi's not in the infirmary. Can you search the other rooms? Has anything changed with the life reading count? Which, by the way, it's still weird there's a six there. I don't know why you haven't brought up that's weird that there's a six there, but ah, it's an old gripe. Let me try, I'll do a bioscan on the entire building. She put her hands on the Lumich terminal and started across it right away, accessing it. Ne hey, 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 Who are you guys talking to? Do you not have your ear pieces in? For some reason? Sean asked us fearfully from over by the bed. Without the infirmary, we're not going to answer his question? Sora was bewildered by the sudden sensor trouble. Oh, it was taking her a few minutes longer than usual to finish the bioscan. Oh, I see. Sora wasn't able to see us, and sometimes we couldn't see her, so, indeed. Does that mean the ceiling sensors from the bed over to the elevator are all temporarily broken? Probably. That's what's affecting Sora. So she left through the emergency corridor. Probably. But uh, she, Sugumi, was kind enough to leave candles burning for us. Wait, she left a path? I'm confused. When we found the emergency flares in the elevator, I was completely shocked. She wanted to keep us away that badly? Wait, what? But it was kind enough to leave candles. Emergency flares? Oh! Okay, so probably she's trying to kill herself when we have to stop her. I think is what's going on here. I think. Sorry to keep you waiting. I have the results of the bioscan. And what's the word? Roger, roger. After a delay, Sora just appeared in the door of the infirmary. Right in the middle of the door. It was pretty bad. And where is Sugumi hobbled off to? She couldn't have gone far. In any case, we'd find her. When we did, we'd figure everything out. Hopefully. An Eggman has gone down to Dritstock. Sugumi is slowly moving past the isolated sector. Eggman? Oh! Eggman! The neutral buoyancy elevator! If we call it, Eggman will come to us, right? The Eggman's what I am? Hi. Yes, Eggman's very, uh, egotistical. Okay, I'll run over there. Hold on, Takeshi! 
You have to make sure to say its name three times fast. Okay, got it. You can only enter and exit that sector using Eggman. So if you just wait a little, we're gonna all come together with like a fish joke again. I don't know, without Mile, will we really be able to carry it? Can't just let her pee. What if her injury gets worse? Or she fucking kills herself. Besides, I want to hear a good explanation for why she ran off like this. Takeshi? Well, you guys can wait there if you want. I'm going. I'd be with him. Like, if you guys are so worried about me, then fucking follow, man. Follow at a quick pace. Takeshi? Why are you so surprised? It's natural. I left them there and ran out. Unless they have a plan that I don't know about. Whatever the case, you should be saying it faster. The point the elevator was right nearby. I pushed the down button and called the elevator. The lamp lit up, letting me know that it was working normally. That's good. I sprang in when the double doors opened. The doors shut quickly and it started going down. That's good. If she doesn't use Ele uh, Eggman, she can't get up here. Until I get there, she definitely can't leave the sector. Well, at least that's good. Sort of. Alright. Watch out, Scooby, because here I come! Oh shit. I cracked my knuckles. Oh man, we're, we're in this. We're doing it. It's a, we're, we're, we're in this. Like the Eggman, we're gonna crack the knuckles like cracking the eggs. Maybe not that hard. We don't want to crack our knuckles in a way that we open them up. Scooby had pushed herself, despite her injury, and gone off all alone. Did she really mean to kill herself? Was she actually trying? Then maybe I should just let her. No, never. But still, none at all. I wanted to give her a piece of my mind first. You don't get to kill yourself before I tell you what I think of you. Hope she would just stay alive long enough for me to tell her all that I wanted to say. Right? That I loved her properly. In Shonen's pathway, you clearly made the first move, and Maya probably is going to make the first move when I go down her pathway. But um, uh, with Sugumi, I think Takashi's probably going to be the one to make the move. That would just make more sense. I mean, it'd be a little silly if it was always the girl making the move in the game. Maybe that's why they have two guy protagonists. One to be super dense, and the other to be not quite as dense. At least in terms of love. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Doors open. The stale air of the isolated sector on the third floor floated into my lungs. Next to the elevator I'd ridden in, another elevator was still stopped. An elevator with a hole blasted in it. Oh, yep, yeah, good times. You couldn't even smell the stench of acetone anymore. I walked toward the end of the hallway, uh, marshalling my wits. What's that? I realized that there was a room on the left side of the corridor that I hadn't seen during the power outage. Thinking to explore a little, I set my foot inside, and then it got electrocuted. Blah, 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 and I had to be wait. I had to wait and get saved by Shonen, and she and he had the conversation with you. I had the conversation with Sugumi, and all oh, my words fucking up now because I'm getting all excited. And uh, then everybody died. Oh, it's the whale room. Huge whale was stretched out. This huge whale room seems to be super significant. This was the room where we, I think we had the biggest connection between Mayo and uh, Coco, so this is definitely, um, this, in fact, we might even get a little glimpse of Mayo through this room, possibly. It's possible, but um, this definitely feels like the biggest connection, the strongest link between them. Just before it gets flooded, right? What if she causes the flood? Ooh, mm, no, it wouldn't make sense if she's not trying to kill herself. I don't know. It said Cosmic Whale on the entrance. Apparently, that was the name of this attraction. I couldn't tell from a quick glance exactly what the attraction was. A whale floating in empty space. The whole scene was surreal. Uh, was there an explanation written somewhere? Wait, I don't have time to waste like this. After making sure that Tsugumi wasn't there, I left through a different door. Oh shit. Uh, I quickly reached to the generator room. Ah, this is also good old times. A door said, Kraft work. That's not English. German? Probably. I pushed open the door and stepped inside. Sounds German. Oh, this room again. Like good old times, the facility was giving off steady but low hum and seemed to be working fine. Better for worse, in Lemur, we didn't have to worry about the electricity. I looked around, but there was no trace of Sugumi. Gosh darn it. Gotta look everywhere then. Past the generator room, the corridor was completely blocked off by a partition. Is she hiding from me? Did you already sneak out? Hopefully not. It was impossible to go beyond it. The only door left was the room on the right. So she had to be there, hopefully. I decided to go in there. The room was full of pipes. What she planned to do in here? There was no sign of the door, but I suppose it would be called something like a pressure regulation room or something. I assume the pipes must be connected to the boilers and turbines in the generator room. Come to think of it, Sugumi had done the repairs in there. Oh! I remember closing a valve right with her tools spread around her. Are we- is this a memory or is she actually there right now? Dun dun dun! 
Huh? Oh, she's there? Is that really her there? She was there. Is her leg still injured? Leaning in just like the time before. She didn't have any tools. She wasn't closing off a valve. Instead, craning her neck, she seemed to be looking over the other side of the pipes. You thinking about jumping in and drowning yourself? Don't do it. Don't do it. You deserve a better death than that. And y'all don't deserve to die for a while. We have to get giggity first. And then you can think it over. Or something. Hey, Sagumi! What are you doing here? Pretend to be calm. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sagumi? I didn't know you were here! Wouldn't be... I wouldn't do it to lose my temper right off the bat. I suppose the ear... I, I suppressed the ear to shout. She was injured, after all. Ellipses. You showed up slowly and looked my way. She's surprised. Nani! You looking for something? <laughs> She's just like, why are you acting so natural? <laughs> uh, not really. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that might be the first cute thing she's done all game. Maybe. Possibly. I'd have to remember a little ways back, but maybe. Uh, then again, the first thing she's, cute thing she did all game was probably do, doing something in the Tanuki suit, but eh, whatever. Past the prologue, anyways. She stepped back as if she were keeping watch over me. I could tell that she was agitated. She hadn't expected to see me. Her gaze didn't fix on anything. Her eyes kept filtering to the pipes behind her. Her gaze. It bothered me. What's behind you? N no. Nothing. You sure, Tsugumi? Are you sure? No. There's nothing behind me. I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if I buy it. Really? The casual tried to angle around so I could see the pipes behind her. Oh boy, what's she up to? What's she up to, Sagumi? What you plotting? You're not doing any, um, shady work, are you, Sagumi? You're not planning to kill yourself? Uh, Don't come near me. Oh, so first I couldn't touch you, and now I can't come near you either? You're getting really picky now, Sagumi. Don't get close. Oh, really? What? She changed positions. She didn't want me to go behind her. Uh. Oh, oh? She had taken another step back and knocked something off. Oh shit! Clang, clang, plunk! What's this? Along with a small splash of water, several screws and her nuts fell into the crevice between ducts. What are you doing? What are you trying to like destroy a lemur or something? Ellipses? Ellipses. She quietly looked around. Favoring her right leg, she slowly turned. With her back to me, she looked further back into the room, trying to pick up whatever just fell. And took a, took a relieved, if amazed, breath. What was going on? What is she doing? And pushing me aside, she tried to head out of the room. Hey, you're not going nowhere. Doite. Move. Jama. You're in my way. Sugumi? Jama Schneider. Don't bother me. Dragging her right leg, she tried to leave. So I think this is about the time where you gotta get serious with her. Like, so what the fuck's up, Sugumi? You can't play coy anymore. Wait! Yamate! I put my hands on her shoulders. But she shook them right off. Yeah, you know she doesn't like touching. That was a dumb move, you. Then again, you're trying to be serious, right? So, uh, I don't know. Sawaranaideyo. Don't you touch me! Why does it really fucking matter, right? If life doesn't fucking matter at all, right? She glared at me without trying to hide her annoyance. You wanna die, but, you, but you're... You wouldn't mind if you died, but you do mind if I touch you? Is that it? I said you were in my way! Leave me alone! Why are you following me? Maybe because I fucking love you and then I just plant one! That'd be the smart thing to do. Nah, maybe not. Uh, I mean, maybe. Depends on, on her personality. She spat the words out all at once. But I didn't let up and fired a question back at her. What are you doing here? Are you looking for something? Or are you finishing up some repairs? Ellipses. Oh god, the way those eyes shifted. You won't answer stupid questions, is that it? I'll give you a better one then. So, what? So you what are you doing here yourself? Looking for your dumb ass. I'm free to do what I want, where I want. She was trying to make a wall of words. Sure. I shot back trying to make a crack in the wall that she had, she had up. I came here on my own. I left the others. Because I heard that you came here on your own. Of course, uh, they didn't actually know you came here, but hey. Nande. 
そんなことするの Why would you do that? Because my hurt friend suddenly went missing. That's why. Oh, the friend word. He used the friend word. Don't you want to add girl to the front of that? Girlfriend.、Mm. Meaningless addition, possibly. Of course, I'm looking for you. Yeah. Nakama? Yeah, Nakama. That's right. We're all Nakama. We're all Nakama together. I'm sorry. Her expression grew more and more severe. Tano no boy mo nakereba. I didn't ask you to come, and there's no reason for you to be here. Well, fuck you, I came anyways. You don't have to ask me to come. I, I can do what I want, right? I chose to come. I'm not like the others. In what way? Don't treat me like one of your gang. Whether you're part of the gang or not, I still fucking love your sexy ass voice. Tsugumi, cut it out! I snapped. I clenched my fist. And I shoved it in her face! Ah,、oh, that's the wrong thing to be shoving in her face, but okay. But I stopped it just in front of her nose. Oh shit! That's an interesting visual to think of. I mean, there's a difference between shoving and thrusting. I mean, punching is one thing, but shoving the fist in the face is another. So it's kind of hard to shove with, without actually getting all the way. That's like doing it in slow motion. Like, she'd see that coming. I, I don't know. I don't know. The wording is weird. Ellipses. Yet she didn't even flinch. Ah! Believe me. I don't want to be friends with someone like you, but I fucking am, so who cares? We don't have a choice. We all want to get out of here. Don't you want to get out of here as soon as possible? As long as we're in the same boat, we're friends. It's my book, I guess. Or at least acquaintances. In Japan, people with the same called goal are called friends. Oh, well,、wow. thank you for letting me know that since we're not in, since,、uh, to the people not in Japan.、Um, okay. Nakama? Friends? Yeah, you're using the stupid American definition. I'm using the Jap- Japanese one. The, the, I'm trying to, I, I don't know, I was trying to spin the word Japan, then I lost it. Japanars? J- J- Japanimation? No, but it's not animation. J- Japan again? J- Japan animation? I don't know. Anime! Nakama. Nakama. Nakama, Nakama. Friends. 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 Friends! Yes, friends. I wasn't a huge fan of the show either, but it did exist and it sent a message to people everywhere that you spell friends F R I E N D S. You can't have friends without waterfalls, and there's water here, so we're gonna make some waterfalls and have a party, and then we'll all be good. We got the water all set up for us. We got, we just gotta, and we even have a fountain actually, we do. We just gotta, I don't know, we all gotta party in front of the fountain, we'll be good. Mata so. Anata wa. So na koto i t e bakari. There you go again, just saying whatever the fuck you want. What can I do? I'm a let's player, I just say whatever the fuck I want. It's a free country, I think. So you not in a she is in taking a can care. Haki k a s u That kind of tired hypocritical crap makes me sick. Oh, yeah, well, I'm like glue, or no, wait, no, you're glue. I'm. Shut up! Ellipses. Sumi's voice stayed completely cool. God, she's so fucking bitchy. Oh, and I still want to fuck her so hard because of that voice. <laughs> There was no place for my raised fist to go. Oh, really? Her face was too beautiful to hit. And one more thing. Oh, yeah? What's that one more thing? Weren't you listening to me yesterday? About what? I don't want to escape. Yeah, well, too bad, because I do, and I'm making you escape whether you want to or not. Then you can choose to fucking die after that. So I'm not your friend.、Mm, at least you're using my definition. I don't care if you're from Germany, America, or Japan. Okay? Or any of the other places in the world, right? Got it? I am not your friend. I A N Y F. I was thinking of that standard for anything, but I don't think so. So do not talk to me again. Oh my god. If this is seriously fucking Sugumi's route, if we're actually on Sugumi's like, route right now, holy shit, how much further do I have to go before she stops being a complete, total fucking bitch? Like, I thought that, you know, she. 
you know, I understood that she was kind of the bitchy character, but I thought, oh, at least when I'm on her route, she won't be a complete bitch. But no, is this the, is this her denial mode? Like, she realized she liked me, so she's trying to be super bitch to me now to, to try and get it out of her head that she likes me until she finally accepts that she likes me? I mean, maybe I can kind of understand that, but oh my god, stop being such a fucking bitch! Ellipses! I lowered my hand. I couldn't say anything. Give me a glance. She moved toward the door, dragging her foot. She was moving awkwardly. Still dragging her left foot. Left foot. Left foot? Did I say left foot? What, is her right foot supposed to be injured? Whoa, 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 wait a second! I yelled with all my might. I said don't talk to me! She turned around forcefully. Your foot! You're dragging the wrong foot! Eh? What? Your foot. Oh. I thought I thought she was dragging the wrong foot. I thought that's where they were going with that. Never mind. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Is it alright? <laughs> uh ellipses. The leg you hurt the other day. Was your right leg, wasn't it? Oh. Oh uh, okay, no, so I was correct. I was correct. The one you hurt was your right leg, right? So clearly your right leg can't be that bad then. Unless both legs are bad now. Ellipses. Did you done fuck up, Sagumi? you fuck up your faking act? Are you not actually hurt then? Her face stiffened. Her eyes flicked away. She averted her gaze. She stood rock still. She was still so hot. What was going on? Good question. Let me see. You have a fucking twin or something? I grabbed the hem of her skirt. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, hesitating, yanked it up. Wow. That's bold. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you kind of had that coming. Whack. Of course, she's had plenty coming, but it's not came to her. An immediate brutal slap. And I just took it like a champ and kept looking. Excuse me, took off running. Oh, God, now come back. Oh, and she's running. Sound her footfalls grew faint, as did her shadow disappearing down the... She's fucking running. That means her foot is goddamn fine. What the shit? What the shit? Does she have like a fucking twin or what the shit? What the shit? What was left was me stunned. She had hammered my cheek. But that's not what mattered. It might have broken my teeth, but who gives a shit about that? I might have had a nosebleed. Who gives a shit about that though? She hit me so hard my brain rattled. Whatever, she's a good hitter. Who gives a fuck? That's not what's important. I didn't feel any pain. Compound fracture of the right thigh bone. Injured requiring 40 stitches. Yeah. And she could run a day later? The shit? As I keep saying. You welcome back my ass. I mean, what could the explanation be? Either she's some kind of like, I'm reminded now of Shonen, how Shonen had that white thing going on. I'm like, is he a robot? And, I'm, and what if, then he also has the time traveling powers. So what if they're both time traveling robots? <laughs> oh god, that's that's a bit funny to me. It be, it returns. <laughs> time traveling robots go. Okay, um, maybe that's how our foot is okay again. <laughs> Or she has a twin. I mean, what else is there, right? Super hyper speed recovering because of morphogenic bullshit? I mean, it's one of three options, right? What else is there? Did we jump timelines and not realize it? I mean, what else is there? Uh, it's, it has to be something crazy. Welcome back, uh, Takeshi. The least crazy thing is that she has a twin. And that would be slightly bullshit. Unless there's a lot of foreshadowing for it. Which, I mean, I believe more that you has a twin than than Sugumi, because you has the Akikane versus Harukane, but that's different. Anyways. Sora greeted me as I stepped out of the elevator in his white stock. Holy shit, this is getting crazy! Thanks. Takeshi, your face is swollen? Yeah, it is, whatever. She hit me like a fucking truck, but that's not what's important. Yeah, I know. Sora, ready to compress for me back at the infirmary. Not now, we have important shit. I left the room holding it. Are you sure? It seems Sugumi will come back to this floor in a little while. I'm not so sure about that. 
ですけど。But? What but? What's your but? What is Sugumi's but? I like her but. もし彼女を見つけても、あまり責めたり怒ったりしないであげてください。If we do find her, try not to get mad or yell at her. Oh yeah, I have every fucking right. But more importantly, I gotta ask her what the hell she's doing with the dragon the wrong foot! Huh? 少しの間、彼女の思う通りにさせておいてあげた方がいいと思うんです。For a little while, I think it's best if we let her do what she wants. Maybe, maybe the reason that、uh, this Sugumi is, is, you know, not that bad, the one we've been mostly interacting with in this game, in this playthrough, and then in Shonen's playthrough, she's such a bitch just because they're twins, and one of them's super bitchy, and one of them's only a little bitchy? Or one of them's super bitchy, and the other's kind of not a bitch, but pretends to be bitchy to, to try to keep up the act that she's like her twin sister? I mean, that's a possibility, I guess. I don't know. But why? I pressed the compress to my cheek. It started to hurt right about the time I had forgotten about it. Don't you think she might be quite nervous right now? Well, she can run just fine, so she can't be that nervous. That's how she would have gotten out of bed. Her twin picked up her not. Her twin. Picked up、uh, the twin that was injured and brought her to somewhere safe and then started doing her own thing. Maybe, I don't know. She's thinking about things. Everybody's thinking about things. It doesn't mean they have to be bitches. She's pondering all sorts of things in her heart, but that doesn't mean that she recovers、uh, light speed like a Wolverine. Everyone's words will fall on deaf ears. Not my words, so fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna have a threesome with both the Sugumis. Mark my words! She's not able to yet just listen, of course. That's why. That is the reason. The reason all this time I thought, oh, I'll get two girls, she'll get two girls. Oh, it doesn't work though, because Sora's not a real girl. Oh, of course. You, um, um, Takeshi gets two different Sugumis, the two twins. And,、uh, you know, Shonen gets you and Mayo, and I get two Sugumis. Sounds fair. Two for the price of one. You worried about her injuries, but for a little while, let's leave her alone. She doesn't have any fucking injuries, at least not the one I saw. If she's any serious danger, I'll let you know right away. Yeah, stop treating me like a goddamn child. I have a right to know about this shit, so fuck you. For a little while, please, Takeshi. Yeah, fuck off. No, I'm sorry. No, sorry, fuck you right now. Fuck you. No, not that, not alright. That's not alright. This is super important shit. Fuck you. I know how to send to Sora's earnest request. Fuck that. I mean, for the most part, I like Sora.、Um, as far as, you know, robotic operating buddies go, you know, I like her a bit more than others I've seen in certain places. But, um,、uh, that right there, I did not enjoy that. Stop talking down to me. And Takeshi stopped just accepting it. Fucking bite back. I went slowly down the stairs of Dreach's stock. Unless we're just ignoring her and gonna do it anyways, in which case I guess I'm okay with that exchange. My footsteps echoed quietly. I don't think it's an accident that she came to be here. Why the fuck are you still following me? Push off, bitch! So I continued speaking right next to me. I don't wanna talk to you! I wanna talk to Sugumi! Not an accident, what do you mean? I do not know the details. That would also explain the six life readings. Is if there's a second Sugumi running around. Because instead of Sora, it's the second Sugumi. Which makes sense. You'd think Sora would understand that. Maybe she does, and she's keeping a secret?、Uh, I guess that's a possible reason. And then the seventh person, potentially. It, well, if we're playing a Shonen, it's Coco. If we're playing as Takeshi, maybe it's a second Shonen? I don't know. This is the first time for me to encounter a case like this. Uh, hers. I don't have any details for this. Data, data for this. Well, exactly what do you mean by this? Do you mean there being two of her? There being a super fast recovery? What the fuck are you talking about? It seems to me she has her reasons. It seems to me as well, but I'd like to know though, so stop talking down to me. Reasons are difficult to explain. I don't care. Explain it to me anyways. Something that's hard for others to understand. Fucking try me, bitch! Something that compelled her to act even if it made her injuries worse. Great, can I know what that is, please? 
それを感じるんです。That's what I feel. Stop acting as if I won't understand and you will. I don't appreciate it. I mean, I may be a Yosuke, but right now, after that cool ass speech, I'm in the moment. I'm, 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 I've risen above, so fuck you. I don't need this shit. Earlier, you were saying the same thing. Oh, so you know stuff about her as well now as well. Everybody's just giving fucking the bitch Sugumi a break. No, I don't buy it. I'm gonna get to the fucking bottom of this. You was? Yes. That we shouldn't probe, that until she was,、uh, wants to tell us, we shouldn't press for information. And what if she never wants to tell us, huh? What about then? No, I don't agree. I do not agree. I'm sorry, Takashi, I do not agree. Maybe I'd gotten a little too close to her boundaries. I don't agree at all. Boundaries she didn't want invaded. I don't give a fuck. We're near the end of this pathway, and I think we're on her route. I think we are. And in which case, we better be getting to her boundaries soon. I mean, there's not much left. There are feelings and reasons she didn't want us to know about. Was that why I was worn, harassed, and pummeled? I don't give a fuck. If I thought about it that way, it made more sense. I don't give a shit. She's still being a bitch. Maybe so. Maybe I came down too hard. No, I think you're just right, Takeshi. Even lenient, I'd argue. Several hours went by. What the hell? We can't just leave that be. In the end, I hung around in Lima by myself and just killed some time. What the dick? Didn't see Sugumi during that time. No! Decided to have an early dinner. Six o'clock is not early dinner. That's about regular dinner time, I would think. Anyways, especially if you're gonna be waking up at like five. You'd you wanna be eating earlier than that. Anyways. Yubi Sei, Coco, and Shonen finished their meal, moved to the rest area where they were relaxing and letting the food digest. Okay then, I'd almost finished tidying up the kiosk. He he he. What, you're gonna make some kind of joke? Pulled out the object I had secretly hidden behind the warmer. What object? Actually, there had been one sausage left at the back of the refrigerator. Oh. Are you sure you weren't saving it for Sugumi? There was no hot dog bun, so I stuffed the sausage into a bread roll. Oh shit. Um, were there any hot dog buns to begin with and you used those all up? I slapped down the ketchup and mustard and took a big bite. Yeah, I think you deserve it. You're the cook after all. You deserve to have a bit extra. You, you'd think, you know, if we're on Sugumi's route, you know, you know, this could have been for you, Sugumi. You like my food so much. You could have had my dog in your, in, in, in your hole, but no. So I have to go in my own hole. <laughs> I have to put my dog in my own hole. Mmm, mmm, it's just so good! Don't be so loud about it, they'll hear you. My mouth filled with the juicy flavors I bit down. Mmm, meat, mmm, yum, mmm! Fried chicken sandwich is good, but not every meal. Every single day. <laughs> I head in the back of the kiosk and devour the sausage! Taki Pion! Taki Takeshi, there you are! Taki Pion! Don't scare me like that, Kalko! I'm trying to be evil and eat what no one else noticed! Mmm! Surprised by Koko's voice, I choked on a piece of sausage, and then I started going, ah, oh, oh, and I need the Heimlich. Get pee pee, you can't do it! Coco appeared in front of me. Ah! 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 I'm choking to death! Taki Pyo, are you alright? I am not alright. I am gonna die of fucking choking because of you, you little devil! All part of an evil plan, see? Mm -hmm. ah! 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 Oh, that was close. Blinking and struggling, I finally managed to swallow the chunk of meat. I swallowed the rest of the sausage in one bite to remove the evidence. I struggled to control my breathing. Who boy? Coco. What? You almost fucking killed me! Now don't worry about what you just saw, okay? Sure, but. Takapion, you didn't eat your sandwich before. Oh, you think you're being innocent, is that right? You think you're being kind and considerate? You almost fucking killed me, you fucking little she devil bitch! I see, you were saving it to eat later? Yeah, sure, let's fucking go with that. Yeah, that's it. That was all good. I was worried about you. I thought you'd lost your appetite. Oh, I was gonna fucking lose my appetite if I fucking choked on that fucking hot dog. Fuck, 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 fuck. Now I'm fine, I ate. I scratched my head. Sorry, Coco. I was selfishly eating a sausage roll myself. Please forgive me. Oh, no, screw her. No one likes Coco. By no one, I mean me. And I'm the most important no one. 
Wait. Maybe? <laughs> Inside. Wait, no. But no one likes Coco, and I don't like Coco. I'm not the no one. That's the whole point. By no one likes Coco, I mean everyone is me. I am everyone, and no one is everyone else. So no one likes Coco. Assuming everyone else likes Coco, but they might not like Coco. But all I know is I don't like Coco, and that's what matters. Anyways, I apologize to Alan Newter. That reminds me. I talked to Sora. What about? Guess what? Sora said you to Sugumi. Which fucking won? Really? Surprised I blinked. Oh yeah, Sora has to do it, but not fucking me. Ugh. She spoke to Sugumi. But she went back to the infirmary. Oh, so she went back, huh? Really? And when Sugumi ran into Sora in the infirmary. Okay, and then? She apologized for going all crazy and smashing the stuff. She even cleaned up the mess. That seems too clean. That seems too... I don't buy it. There's something going on here, and I want to know. I want to know my answers to my puzzles and the mysteries in the game. Apologize to Gumi. She never apologized. I literally don't think she's ever apologized once in this game. That's what I heard. I don't buy it. I was surprised. No, I was really surprised. What else? Did she hear anything else? Did she have some other kind of crazy change of heart? Or any other Yu-Gi-Oh card? Uh, well... Sora said Sugumi was asking questions and stuff. Oh, so Sugumi gets to ask questions, but not me. Screw that. Asking questions. She asked her a really silly question. Oh, hey! For when Sugumi asked a silly question. Oh, is this going to link to the idea that maybe there's twins? Oh, boy, what is this about? A strange question? What'd she ask? What was it? Oh, yeah! What was it? What do you know about my past? Oh, ooh, mmm. Oh, shit. Interesting. So Sora knows something about Tsugumi's past? Ooh, the, the plot thickening it ends. Or something like that. This is interesting. Assuming you're not lying to me, you little... Freaking she devil, but mm, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, pit bull. It goes along with your peepee -pee dog. And? Sora said she didn't know anything. I don't buy that for a heartbeat. I guess Sugumi was satisfied. I wouldn't be. Ellipses. Ellipses. Is that it? That's it. Oh. That's kind of a silly question. Yeah, you already said that. It was very silly. Coco, where's Sugumi now? I said this trying to restrain my sense of urgency. She's still in the infirmary, I think. She went to bed. At least that's what Sora said. Bed? She went back to the infirmary and went to bed? Like sleeping bed? Yeah, I think. Are you sure? Is that what she is now? Probably? Probably, huh? Alright then, I think I'll go and check on her. Ah! What is it? What, Coco? Is there something on my face? For some reason, Coco was staring at my face. Don't do that. You're creepy. You're already creepy enough when you're not close up. She laughed quietly. What? 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 You like Sugumi, don't you? It would be the youngest one to see it first. But yeah. Yeah, I do. Ah. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, there's no way! Really? I wonder. Seems to me like it's written all over your face. Okay, maybe I do like her just a little bit, but I also fucking hate her way more than I like her. Huh? Flustered, I rubbed out my face. Ugh, I gotta get this like off my face. Ugh, it's weird. Nothing came off my hands. 
It's not literally written on your face. Oh my gosh, that's silly. Oh, you're stupid, Takeshi. At least nobody had been writing on my face again. Coco, watching me, had a smile as bright as the sun. I don't buy it. I don't buy your smile. I don't like you, Coco. Something's up with you as well. We're gonna find out. Just you wait. Anyways, I left Coco and went to the second floor infirmary. I hope she's resting properly. Hey, Scooby, can I come in? I spoke in the intercom and opened the door. The infirmary was quiet again. All the smashed equipment had been tidied up. Sure enough, Sugumi was there. And with that, I think I will end this session video whatever of Let's Play Ever 17, The Out of Infinity Blind! Next time, who knows? All I know is that things are weird, and she's got the cast back on. Like, what? 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 See you guys next time. Things are crazy. Bye.